Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this episode of Mark's Garage. So not too long ago, I did a little bit of a story on my Triumph Scrambler 400 related to chain maintenance. And so I was at that point where we needed to lubricate the chain and I gave some tips and thoughts on a nice way to do that using a Condor wheel chalk and also a bike lift stand and it just made it really easy to rotate the tire and lube. And since that time, I've had a few questions and comments uh, related to that video that, that asked some questions specifically about chain slack and what is the dimension. And it's a good question because it is not specified in the owner's manual. It is in the service manual, and I found that out here just recently by talking to my Triumph dealer and they were kind enough to look that up. It's Triumph of Waukesha down in the Milwaukee area. And uh, the range, I'm going to give you that, it is 40 to 45 millimeters. Okay, so I'll let you do the math on what that is. It's roughly in the range of one and a quarter inches to 1.8 inches of travel. And so I've shot a little bit of video here. I just checked mine. I'm within the range, but I shot a little video here that will show you a few more details of where to take the measurement and certainly what to do if you need to adjust it. And at some point when I'm ready to adjust the chain, then we'll do another video where we'll get into all the things uh, that you need to do at that point. So anyway, come on along. We'll show you just a few more things that will be helpful and certainly leave your questions or comments and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks again for tuning in. The distance between the sprockets is about 24 inches. So at 12 inches, that puts that dimension right at the bottom of that spark arrestor. What I'm doing here is zooming in just on the other side of the muffler spark arrestor and you can see that there's a plastic guide. And so just below that is uh, really the spot to measure it. Here also is a shot within the owner's manual that shows the uh, spot to measure and so that hopefully will be helpful to you as well. Here I've got the tape measure out and I am placing it vertically behind the chain just so that I can give you an idea of the actual chain slack that I've got and it's right at about one and just inside one and three quarters inches of slack. In the event that you are going to actually adjust the chain, this is the right side of the motorcycle, of course, but there's a couple things that you're going to want to do. And that is uh, the first step is going to be to loosen the axle bolt. You're seeing that right here in this shot. You have to loosen the axle bolt. Then on each side, there is a lock nut. That is the most forward nut that you see there. And on each side, you'll undo that. And then the adjuster uh, would be where you're going to, more than likely, uh, it'll extend the wheel rearward so that it takes the slack out of the chain. And so at some point here in the future, we're going to be doing that live so you can see it. But uh, really, that's uh, a little more information on chain slack for the Triumph Scrambler 400X.